All right, so um, looking at wall takedowns as a series, right? Um, your opponent's gonna have a lot of different reactions. And so as your opponent reacts differently, that's gonna open up different pathways. So it's very difficult to go into a fight and be like, oh, I'm gonna hit takedown X, but I can run this series over and over and over. So I get my underhook, super common, and then my other arm can kind of be wherever. I might be underhooked as well, I might be overhooked, I might be bicep, I might be wrist, it doesn't really matter. Um, defensively, my opponent is gonna hide their feet by the wall. So this is super key. Um, my job is to get their feet away from the wall. There's a bunch of ways I can accomplish that. I can literally just pull them and put them back until I get the orientation that I want. Um, I can strike, I can open things up that way, I can pummel around to get their feet moving. Um, but even if this leg is hidden, I have a pretty easy access to stepping into outside position. So I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna point my toe over the knee and slide down into place and try to get kind of Achilles on Achilles. From here, I pull my ankle up to my butt. I try to hold this position as long as possible as I drop them down. So we're here, I've got the weight in place, right? I gotta keep them a little bit more weighted towards this foot. If I'm having trouble with that, I just pull them back. Step over, pull to my butt, and spin down. So both the lift and the spin are super key. That said, um, good opponents will get heavy on this leg intentionally, right? So now when I step into this position, one, they've got the ability to kind of use this whizzer and this kick to kind of pull me back in front. I don't like this as much, and I can't get the pull. So when that happens, instead of my ankle, my knee takes over the job. I put my knee right in the crick of their knee. I hold with this grip. I like to grab the lat or right at the waist. And then I'm gonna spin and put them down. So I go outside trip. They always limp leg out. If they're still standing when you go for the outside trip, that means they're hanging out like this, right? So you see, I step in, my opponent changes their hips. Drop my knee in place, pull, all right? In the process of that outside trip, or the knee bump, when I'm using that knee block look. This wizard is super important defensively. In order to keep my opponent's balance, no matter what move I go for, by taking out the wizard, take out the wizard, as I pull, they're not gonna go down. But then I have an easy route to the back. So we're always looking for that shuck. That shuck can happen because the wizard comes out, and then I pop them over with that little shoulder bump or the wizard can still be in just loose. And then I just keep shucking forward, putting pressure on that wizard. If they don't release the wizard, then I need to put their nose on the mat, right? So I just need to bring things down. Um, so that's outside leg position. All well and good, but we can still get stopped on those three. So when that happens, I can't get to outside leg position. I go inside position. Um, I prefer, in this case, to be locked over under but bicep grip's okay as well. I'm gonna block with my knee and hip and twist. So I twist everything out. So we're in this inside knee position. Boom, twist. If they step over my leg, so I come to this block, they step in front. Yes, I come back to this block. Now it's gonna be a little more of a hip pop for the Polish. So I'm not pulling over like a knee block. I get them to step and then pop through on the Polish. So we're here, twist, pop, and get the finish. Once we go to inside knee position, the same dichotomy exists. This wizard that's keeping me from going to the back, that's providing defensive options, is making it easier for me to stay connected and twist my opponent. So as they feel that twist happening, that wizard gets a little more shallow, so I hit that same shuck to the back look. Anytime we go to the back, we're doing any of our mat return stuff to finish. So we still gotta be A plus at finishing that mat return. And wherever the shuck comes in the process, keep in mind, our opponent's gonna get shoulder to the wall and scrape us off. So when that happens, I seal the door, I get my body in between their body, and then I kick off the wall, get them into the middle. And then we got tons of options from there. MMA wall takedowns, take ones.